Imagine a machine that thinks, feels, and understands like a human. This is not a science fiction concept, but the philosophy of artificial intelligence that first intrigued the philosopher, René Descartes. In the 17th century, Descartes proposed a radical idea, a world where machines could possess minds and consciousness. His belief was revolutionary, it challenged the boundaries of what was deemed possible and set the groundwork for what we now know as artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is not about creating robots that look like us, but about developing systems that can perform tasks that once needed human thought and intuition. Using complex algorithms and machine learning, these systems can comprehend, learn and even make decisions. From predicting weather patterns to diagnosing diseases, AI is reshaping our world. Descartes' belief in the potential of thinking machines set the stage for a revolutionary future we're only beginning to understand. Fast forward to 1956, the term artificial intelligence is coined and a new era begins. This marked the genesis of a thrilling journey, a journey of ceaseless innovation and discovery. In the decades that followed, artificial intelligence evolved rapidly, breaking the boundaries of human imagination. The first significant advancement was the development of conversational computer programs. These programs, equipped with the ability to understand and respond to human language, sparked a revolution. They paved the way for the creation of virtual assistants, chatbots, and other interactive technologies that we use every day. Then came the game-playing machines. These machines, armed with strategic thinking and decision-making abilities, challenged human intellect like never before. They started beating humans at their own games from chess to go, demonstrating the potential of AI in problem solving and strategic planning. Expert systems, another milestone in AI evolution, brought about a radical change in various sectors. These systems, with their ability to mimic the decision-making ability of a human expert, found applications in diverse fields. They assisted in medical diagnosis, financial planning and more proving that AI could be a reliable partner in complex decision-making. Next, we witness the rise of neural networks. Inspired by the human brain, these networks transformed the way machines learn. They enabled machines to learn from their experiences, improve their performance, and make predictions, marking a significant leap in machine learning. Finally, the emergence of virtual agents took AI a step closer to human-like intelligence. These agents, capable of understanding, reasoning and learning, became an integral part of our digital lives. They assist us in shopping, provide personalized recommendations and even offer emotional support, showcasing the versatility of AI. AI has indeed come a long way since 1956. It has permeated all aspects of our lives, from healthcare and finance to entertainment and education. The seeds planted by Descartes have blossomed into a tree of knowledge and innovation that continues to grow. The evolution of AI is far from over, it's just beginning. Enter Alan Turing, a man whose ideas would redefine the way we perceive machine intelligence. Turing, a mathematician and computer scientist, proposed a fascinating idea that would become a cornerstone in the world of artificial intelligence. This idea is known today as the Turing test. In the simplest terms, the Turing test is a kind of litmus test for machine intelligence. But rather than measuring the chemical composition of a substance, this test measures the cognitive capabilities of a machine. It's not about bits and bytes or processing power. It's about whether a machine can mimic human-like conversation convincingly enough to fool a human judge. The setup is quite straightforward. A human judge engages in a conversation with a human and a machine. The conversation takes place through a computer interface, obscuring the identities of the participants. The judge knows that one of the participants is a machine, but doesn't know which one. The conversation can cover any topic, the weather, the news, even a philosophical debate. The machine is not restricted to factual responses, but can also express opinions, tell jokes and engage in banter. The goal is not to demonstrate the machine's knowledge, but its ability to converse like a human. The judge then has to decide which participant is the machine. If the judge can't distinguish the machine from the human, the machine is said to have passed the Turing test. This doesn't necessarily mean the machine is conscious or self-aware, but it does suggest the machine can mimic human conversation convincingly. This idea was revolutionary. 
Turing proposed this test in the mid-20th century, a time when computers were seen as glorified calculators, not potential conversation partners. It was a bold, forward-thinking idea that pushed the boundaries of what we thought machines could do. If the judge can't tell the machine from the human, the machine is considered to have passed the test, a milestone in the journey of AI. Turing's test became a benchmark, a challenge for AI researchers to strive for. It remains an iconic concept in AI, a testament to Turing's vision and the ongoing quest to create intelligent machines. Turing's test was more than just an experiment, it was a challenge to the way we understand intelligence. These words echo the importance of Alan Turing's groundbreaking work in the field of artificial intelligence. Turing's test was a significant departure from earlier notions of machine intelligence. Before Turing, the focus was largely on whether machines could potentially think or feel like humans. Descartes, for instance, contemplated the possibility of creating machines with minds and consciousness. But Turing took a different approach. He proposed a practical experiment that shifted the focus to whether machines can perform tasks that humans can do. This was a radical shift. Turing proposed that it didn't matter whether machines could actually think or feel. What mattered was if they could act in a way that was indistinguishable from a human. Turing's test involved a judge interacting with a human and a machine without knowing which was which. If the judge couldn't tell the difference, the machine was considered to have passed the test. This shift in focus has had profound implications. It has led to the development of conversational computer programs, game-playing machines, neural networks, and much more. All these advancements are predicated on the idea of mimicking human performance, not human thought. Turing's test has also sparked intense philosophical debates. It has challenged our understanding of what it means to be intelligent. Can a machine truly be intelligent if it only imitates human behavior? Or does true intelligence require consciousness and self-awareness? These questions continue to be hotly debated among philosophers, computer scientists, and AI researchers. Despite these debates, there's no denying the impact of Turing's test. It has been instrumental in shaping the field of artificial intelligence as we know it today. It has shifted our focus to practical applications of AI, leading to advancements that would have been unthinkable in Descartes' time. Turing's test remains a landmark in the philosophy of AI, challenging our preconceptions and pushing the boundaries of what machines can achieve. So as we continue to explore the realm of artificial intelligence, we do so with Turing's legacy in mind, forever questioning, forever challenging, and forever pushing the boundaries of what's possible. From Descartes' musings to Turing's test, we've covered a vast timeline of AI philosophy. We began our journey with Descartes, a man who dared to dream of thinking machines. His belief in the possibility of machines possessing minds and consciousness was revolutionary. It laid the groundwork for the philosophy of artificial intelligence, sowing the seeds of a concept that would take centuries to fully bloom. From there, we delved into the evolution of AI. Born as a term in the mid-50s, AI has since grown into a colossal field, transforming many aspects of life as we know it. We've seen the rise of conversational computer programs, game-playing machines, expert systems, neural networks, and virtual agents. Each development, each advancement, stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the power of algorithmic learning. Then we turned our focus to Alan Turing, a pivotal figure in the narrative of artificial intelligence. Turing proposed a simple yet profound measure of machine intelligence. The Turing test, a method of inquiry that involves a judge interacting with a human and a machine. If the judge cannot discern which is which, the machine is considered to have passed the test, showcasing a level of intelligence previously thought exclusive to human beings. Through the lens of Turing's test, we examined the impact of this groundbreaking idea. It shifted our perspective on what constitutes intelligence, challenging long-held beliefs and expanding our understanding of the potential of machines. And now, as we reflect on this journey, it's clear that the philosophy of AI is more than just a study of machines and algorithms. It's a reflection on human thought and creativity. 